Okay. Okay. Sekiro is a game I am not great at. Uh, that's what this is. It's, it's Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Um, you can see, like, I'm at the last boss. What's the run button? No, that's not, that's not it. Is it B? It's B. I haven't played this game in so long that uh, it's very likely I will be very, very bad at this. Uh, it's very, very likely that that is that is the case. Did I ever beat the dudes over here? No. Okay, well, I don't really want to fight them. Oh, jeez. One of them... Ow. Oh, jeez. One of these people are, like, not important at all. And, uh, you don't have to, uh, really care for them. What I want to do... Is fight a different boss anyway. I'm just trying to think how do I get there. I haven't played this in like months, right? So it's going to be a little bit of a getting back into it kind of a thing. Oh, it's annoying that, like... How did I... I can probably go back... ...some way. Oh no. That isn't what I wanted at all. I think the best way to do this is to travel to here. So, I spoke to a friend after I like played this and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to go back and beat it. Uh, I was like, maybe one day. But I really just wasn't sure. And then... Uh, Recently, I was like, I should probably go back and beat it. That's upsetting. I can't get up that way. Oh, fuck. I don't remember the map well enough, really. Um, to... Do anything. Oh, jeez. I need to go back to Yoshina Castle. Oh, I know. I know how to get there. I know how to get where I want to go. I know how to get there. It is simple as... This way? No, because this is. Yeah, this is the wrong way. I need to go back this way. <laughs> I'm just running from 
everything. Sorry, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to think. Um, where would it be? I'm <laughs> literally just thinking, like, where is the, um, the field I want? And... I'm just struggling on that. I want to get over there. I think. No, I want to get to... If I can figure out the location of it, it'd make it a lot easier, because then I could be like, oh, it's to the blah blah blah, and it'd just be a lot easier. Is there a dude up here? Oh no, I thought there might have been. The way that music was ramping up. Is that it? I'm trying to see where the outskirts are. That's not maybe that's it. What is that? Like I'm looking over sort of just above his head. What is that? Someone's mad at me. I don't know who, but oh, it's them. I don't know if it's over there either. It's basically, if you don't know, what I'm, uh, it's like where the horse fight thing was. Is what I'm looking for. Hmm. Well, let's have a look over there for now, I think. Like, what is... I don't think I can drop down here. I don't even think it's possible. All that dying at least. That is where I want to be. Okay. So... We're basically... Get up here. And then I need a way up. I need a something up. Or not. Okay, uh. What is here? What is. There we go. All right. It's all just figuring out where I'm going. And once I've got the idea, I'll be good. Okay. Travel. 
Here we go. That was terrible. Like, I'm just running around. Help me. All right, but I think I know the way now. I think it's over this way. Or it's not. Shit. How do I get back here? No, how did I get back here? How do I get back here? Which which is not the question, because in my mind here is the, the place I'm thinking of, right? So, like, that's not even the right question. Okay, the, uh... Dude with the sphere. Not the guy I'm going after. My main goal is to actually, I think I can get him to run off. Like that. Why is the guy over the spear? Why is the guy over the spear? That was not a win. That wasn't a win. Surely not. I'm gonna sit down and they're gonna respawn. Like, that guy with the spear is just, like, gonna keep kicking my ass. And I don't know how to get back into, uh, see, this is the issue. I've been away for so long, but even before this, I couldn't beat, like, these dudes. I need, uh... Like a pot. Like a ceramic shard. Alright, here we go. Here's my plan. The sword dude forgets about me. But the sword dude can chase me all he likes. Great. Now it's me and the spear. See, the sword's the issue, because...
the sword guy fucks with my pacing. Here we go. Oh my god, what hit me? What even hit me? I don't even know. Alright, his sword dude's gonna run off. Or he's not. Hey, sword guy. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Come on. Oh, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's getting closer. He's getting closer. <laughs> what are they doing? Stop it. You too. Stop it. What have I got? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nothing I can sort of hit them with. Except maybe... was gonna like push them away I thought it was gonna push I thought it was like gonna like I was gonna like hit them with a gust of air and they were gonna be like pushed away but that's not how that, that <laughs> that's not how that item works unfortunately um, I hope the sword chases me. What are they gonna do, huh? Oh god, maybe they'll do that.
I don't know if that guy is going to be dead. Because I kicked him off that cliff. Like, I did a jump kick and kicked him off, so... No, it doesn't look like it. I just want his accomplice gone, really. His accomplice is the main thing. Like, it's the sword dude that I'm not happy about. I think they're a dual team. I think if one of them dies and the other doesn't, it is... It is like, um... Hey, you know, like, I'm not going anywhere. Like, what? What? Todd's still alive? I'm fucking coming back then, bruh. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I need them to de-aggro. That way I can like roll up and get a nice uh Got him! Got one of them, this is the cheapest way of doing this, but it's also a way that works, so uh, say what you will, but it works. How did he know? Well, he's got eyes in the back of his head? I don't think so. Oh, you go to SekiroTips.com and he got his tips? Oh, Sekiro might just, uh... He might just, like, come up behind you, just so you know. So always have eyes sort of in the back of your head. You never know when uh, they'll come in handy. Oh, fuck off. I'm trying to, like, cheese it. Okay. Trying to make this a lot easier than it should be. That you're not playing a long game, and I'm not happy about it. Alright, I'm gonna let him get back into position. He should sort of be back by now. Fuck off! Like, I'm all the way over here now. It's gonna, like, make him go like, Oh no, when I'm here. No, I didn't. He's gonna notice me, like, instantly. Yeah, look, he's already upset.
stop it. No! Come on, come on, come on, get up, get up! Got it! I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty, I'm not like gonna sit and be like, I'm the best, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I am the best. <laughs> some people didn't even find this game that hard, honestly. Like, some people were just like, oh, yeah, I get it. Like, it's fine, I get it. Like, it, oh, you just gotta dodge. And, uh, this game's fucking hard! And if you're sitting there and you're like, no, it's not. Yes, it is! Oh, jeez! his foot. Oh, he got me. I wasn't even mad about that if I stayed up there. I'm not a fan of him, like, repeating the same move. I'm also not a fan of him doing moves I don't know. Oh, I got him. That was a first try charge ogre. I hope I get a prayer beat from that. Nice! Oh, man. Woo! Now, the fun is uh, figuring out. Where I can go. Alright. Is this guy mad at me? I got him. Um. I think I've rested at this one, but. No, oh, no, I haven't. Well, there you go then. Let's rest. We should give him the prayer beads as well. Uh. Um. Enhance. Squash boots. Nice. I got a seventh prayer necklace. Nice. 
I've got seven of them. They're all mine. None of them are yours, and they never will be. Um, I'm looking for, in case you're wondering. I'm not looking for this. He hit me with terror. He just hit me with terror, like, instantly. Spirit and go that reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Consume spirit emblems to use repeatedly. Alright. What I was looking for is sort of like a way back to the, the big open area so I can fight the demon dude. That's a good fight. That's worth looking at. And I don't know how to get there. doubt it. How do I get down here? tree in the way. Oh, see, there's a tree in the way. Where is it connecting? Um, goes up. Up those stairs. I think it all goes around. Oh, I've done the same fucking thing again. I think it all goes sort of round into... So if I go this way... Oh, for fuck's sake, I've done it again. Ah, oh, jeez. This is not the way I wanted to go.
Hey, don't fight me. How do I get to Shima? How what, how do I get to the Shima Castle Gate? How do I get to that? That's right. I'm just gonna see if I can find it. Maybe this is the way. Someone's like, oh, maybe this is the way you do it. And I, I don't remember the map enough to uh, do it. So, this is where you want to go. Boom. I said, hook a left. Jump out the window, go all the way down to the castle idol, and then hang a left and hook shot. To the castle idol? Castle Idol. Um, I don't see it. Honestly, I don't see the way. Let me mute this video. <laughs> hey, you watch this video muted. God, this is laggy. Where's he going? You know what? I'll do it on my phone. <laughs> this is like what I have to do when I'm just lost. I'm like, oh, I don't know the way. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. This person's uh, doing something. Okay, they they did this thing that I, I was like trying to do but I couldn't do it and uh, obviously I could but I just wasn't looking at it in the right place. Alright, back to Corrosion. Alright, let's go. So, my friend told me about this boss. He said it's worth looking at. He said do it. And I said, oh, okay. And then we kissed. <laughs> No, he didn't kiss. It's just funny if uh, he heard it. He'd be like, wait a minute. He'd probably just be like, yeah, sure. He's pretty chill with that stuff, you know. He don't mind kissing. I think his words were, I'll kiss anyone. <laughs> I'll do it. Best believe it. All right, here we go. Boom. You see that? Hello. You, you put it on the reinforcement force, right? No, not really. Please, please hurry. The castle is in right bad shape. Damn the ministry forces. They've taken up the Serpent Valley. It's the bridge. Please. Oh shit, there's stuff going down there. Okay, um... I didn't realise this was the way. I could have just come up this way easily. This isn't where I want to be. Oh, I know the way to go. Okay, well this doesn't seem right. Now that I've done my Spider-Man tricks, I'm going to go back into Ashen Mechanism and just hope they don't hit me while I watch more of that video. Okay, where where are they going? Now oh, they went over the bridge. Here we go. We're going for it. They've really got themselves some uh, defenses. Look at that thing. <laughs> I, oh, it's kicking the shit out of things. 
I'm not sure I can beat it. Alright. Let's give it a go. Hey, demon. Holy shit. Wow. I'm assuming his legs are still weak points. Yeah. Let's take a double sit. It's like a one sip. It's a one tap that. Oh, that's another sip, I think. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be fun. Oh, shit. Yeah, oil wouldn't hurt him. Hit it in the butt. is so big like how am I supposed to like even come at it in a, a real good way like what am I what is my goal here its legs are horrible it's got like oh no Is distance the key? Is what's the key? Right one moon protect from light attacks. Um, finger whistle. I think that's gonna. <laughs> I think I've got it, honestly. I think, like, no, I don't have his moveset down, but the fight itself, I think it's doable. I think I can do it. I think I, E-O-L Gamer, Ethan, can do it. Now, one, one thing that's really important is getting that health bar down. We're going to need to focus on getting that health bar down. And uh, not taking hits. Oh gosh. And dodging that. Now dodging that will become very handy. Now the reason I'm saying, hey, let's get that, that health bar down. is so that stagger bar don't go back up, because the key to this fight, I think, is going to be staggering. Let's stagger the shit out of our enemies. Literally. Nah, he knows I'm here. Okay. 
learning its moveset is going to be pretty important. I think... So it does that wide, it does that short, and it does the overhead. The overhead's the one that's getting me. I'm not really doing anything for the overhead, so I need to think about that a bit better. Um, the headbutt's getting me as well. Alright, this is dodge. This is uh, parry time. Overhead is something I would like to learn. Now we've been given a very big arena for this, so using it to our advantage is gonna be real nice. Um, if not required. I mean, he's obviously jumping back forth, getting distance between us and him. Sucks. No! I did the same thing again. I heard a noise. I'm like, dodge! Uh, not dodge. I'm like, uh... Okay, it's nearly down to half. That's really good for the parry status, and we're dead. Gords were gone though, so like honestly, the chances of us even doing that fight were really low. The gourds were so low. Uh, you know, none of them wanted to be. It was a bad sitch. I don't see an issue with my strength or anything in this fight. I mean, I got like, you know, seven prayer beads. One. It's becoming familiar with him, understanding the moves. Really becoming. Like, that is something that I need to stop thinking that's a swing. Because it's not. last one's timing, like, I just haven't hit it yet. He doesn't hit particularly hard. I mean, yes, he's doing most of my life, but he's not killing me. So while it would be beneficial to not be... Now, one of the things I really want to see there as well is every time he goes up into the air and comes back down, I get an opportunity to uh, grab onto his arm. I don't know if anyone has seen it. It's like a little green thing on his arm. And it's just saying, hey, here's a, here's a grab point. And I'm out of juice. Definitely gonna be a tough fight. Definitely. Gonna be toughy. Let's go for it. Get some 
three hits on him. What I really want to focus on for my beginning of the fight is big damage on him. Staying close, damaging him. Not taking damage though. And unfortunately I've not figured out that that part yet. Jeez. Alright, I think it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Someone's done this without taking damage. It's, it's doable. I always just assume these games, like, someone's done insane crimes. Okay, we're actually getting really lucky on these, these swings that he's giving us. Oh, and that he's not being super aggressive for us. In a, a way that, like, hurting the way I'm playing against him. He's being really kind to us. Sort of as if to say, like, hey, get your hits in now. This game gonna happen forever, you know. Backing him into a corner is also really nice because it means I get a chance to help the damage while, while he's still just sort of like trying to swap me away like a fly that's in his bedroom and he's, he's not enjoying that fly. That fly is really pissing him off. And it's good that I'm pissing him off. Okay. Let's resurrect. Cord it up. Get hit. Part of the process. see what his second phase is going to look like. It seems he's somewhat blind. Very unhappy. That's going to call an end to that one. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. That one was way more aggressive than I would have liked, honestly. Like, I'm trying to be a bit more on the defense, but that was working. I am a very offensive player in, in most games. Just, uh, a damage outputter really just because I, I like seeing numbers uh, be high I like thinking I can tank shit like on my own so I'm very into the idea of being a damage dealer that can just solo shit I'm not an MMO player I'll take that Holy shit! <laughs> Holy crap! 
If I can get down that first health bar without losing mine, that would be really nice. I could go in for Ashna Slashes as well, or whatever, like they're really good, but then it's going to drain all my, um, all my shit. Yeah, so if I come in, boom, hit with two of those, it's not the most helpful, but it's good, it's good, um, I mean it's decent damage, and it's good posture damage to him, but it, it does leave me very vulnerable situations like that. I don't think he hits enough for me to get the bar up without taking, giving him any damage. I think I'm going to have to get his health bar down, like, quite, at least quite a bit. just really struggling with. Jeez. Because he's got that, like, fire whip. It's just, like, it adds so much length to his attacks. sure nothing but yeah I was thinking on the off chance though you never know Which is crazy. That is crazy. They beast. That was fucking horrible. <laughs>
just really want to get my uh, parries under lock. If I stay to the left of me, will he... Will he even hit me? Will he try and hit me with his left more? It's a great design, like it's a real nice design, but it's all the boss. It's like asking me to come in on the weekend, do overtime. I don't really want it. I don't need the money boss. They have this like way they want to end the conversation. They'll have like a saying, you know. They'll have like a saying, and that's the lot. And they think like that's like that's like insight. Like you need this saying. It's gonna help you, you know. Like beggars can't be choosers. And you'll go, yeah. I just feel strange though. And they're like, yeah, but beggars can't be choosers. And I'm like, well. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those situations where they, they, it's like, you know... They, it's like, yeah, ha the conversation has to end on this, like, term. Um... I like that, because sometimes you can see it... ...in, uh, like, podcasts. But I'm not a beggar. Oh, no. Dansky. Are you talking about the fucking dude from the creatures back in the day? Is that who that is? Well, that was Dan's news. I tabbed out real quick. I don't know who Dan Dan's game is. I don't know who this this gentleman is. Gentle lady. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Oh, oh okay. Perfect. Yeah, it's fun when people have these, like, ones. Uh, I mean, I've had them before. But you, you just, they're like, we've, this is how the conversation must end. It must end with this one word, this one sentence. It's never anything like, I'm having soup for dinner. <laughs> it's never that. It's, it's never like, uh, oh, hey, Jim, how you doing? I'm good, I'm having soup for dinner. And then, like, seven hours later, all right, Jim. Enjoy that soup. I'm having soup for dinner. It's never, <laughs> it's never anything silly like that. It's always, what have I just done? I've eaten the pellet. Oh no! It's always uh, some kind of like, insight. Like, beggars can't be uh, you know. I don't know why people don't just give you tips. I want to walk down the street one day and have a dude be like, "Hey, invest." <laughs> <laughs> that's it, he just needs to invest. Who hears beggars can't be choosers and things? Yeah, okay, that's true, Not, no denying that. <laughs> that's just a fact of life, I don't know. It is just one of those things though, isn't it? I mean, like, most people in the situation where it's like, oh, beggars can't be choosers, most people I think use it wrong, because beggars can't be choosers is kind of like when you go to the car dealership and you're like, I have five pounds, and I, I just, I want the top range car, and it's like, well, beggars can't be choosers, because you have five pounds, like, what, what are you going to do with that? But, but most people are like, oh, these, these crisps don't taste the way I wanted them to. Oh, beggars can't be choosers. 
would the f you could have bought the different packet. It's the same price. I'm pretty sure some beggars are choosers <laughs> like when they choose how to spend their cash. Yeah, I think so. I think every decision in life is is choosing. So. Uh... Do you think a beggar's ever turned down money? I mean, they have, obviously. You think they've ever returned it, though? I think there's ever been a dude who's, like, was a beggar, lived on the street, or a girl, I don't know, it could be another, a dog, uh, lived on the street, didn't have much of a, a life, really. It got it, you know, a bunch of donations, got it back together, went back on the street, found those people, and was like, here, here's your money back, thank you for the loan. I doubt it. I'd be more willing to give beggars money if they gave me it back. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. That's against the point, isn't it? That's against the point. I don't. I never carry cash anyway. It's, like, it's horrible. I hate money. I hate physical currency. I hate it. It's the worst. Just use my card for everything. Sometimes you go to shops, and it's very rare, very, very rare. And they're like, oh, the card machine doesn't work. And then at that point, I'm just like, well, I'll just put everything back then. I feel bad for shops. I know it's their job to, like, organize the stuff, but I'm the kind of person who's like, do you want me to put it all back for you? Like, I picked it all up. You know, like, I've entered into this agreement of, uh, if I can't buy it, like, I'll put it back. And they're, all, they're always so nice. They're always like, no, 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 we'll do it. And I'm like, you sure? I've never had anyone come back and go, oh, go on then. No one's ever, no one's ever took me up on it. Anyway, this is just saying, I'm a nice guy. I'm the nicest of guys. Except from that one guy. He's pretty nice. Some people are smug with it though. Some people are like smug with the way they say that little like one liners. But it's it's fun because I was listening to a podcast and uh, one of the people like in the podcast recently got a dog. And they're like, yes, I've got this dog. And they said they will want for nothing. And and people like the other. For this dog more than anything in my life and i'm like that's very very good because if you're taking care of an animal or you're planning to take care of animal you should be planning for it as much as another living being deserves to be like planned for like it's you know like you shouldn't just be like well this it's just a dog we'll just get it like no do your research but um it's just funny because every once in a while, it, like to some of the questions, they just say the same answer. Just be like, "This dog will want for nothing," and I'm like, "Jeez, you've said this seven times now in the last ten minutes. Like, think of something new." I don't 
don't know if I'd ever be too proud to be a beggar, but I think I'd probably... I don't think I'd make it to that stage. I think some people have this will in them to live. Some people do, because I, I imagine, like, when you first become, like, a beggar or something, like, I think it's incredibly embarrassing. Like, you just don't feel great about it. Because most people don't... I don't, I don't think, like, bad of beggars. Like, they, they had, you know, they made some poor decisions. It's easy to do. Life is so fast that it's, it's so easy to make a bad decision. But I don't think I, I don't think I could do it. I don't think, personally, I could do it. I think I'd die before I begged because I just, I'm, I think I'm too prideful. Which isn't great. You turn, turn into a hermit. What is a hermit? I've heard of it before. I, I'm just trying to think, what is a hermit? Is it just someone who lives off someone else? Is that what it is? Do you, uh, oh, don't, don't go down those woods. Uh, that crazy old lady lives there. <laughs> oh, okay. You just live in the woods. I think if I ever got to a point in life, and this proves like how privileged I am, where I can't use, I can't live sort of any way like to the moment. If I got rid of technology, let's say that, like if, if I couldn't have like a phone at least, I think at that point like I'm, I've given up. I think I've given up. Um, I need a place to sleep in. I couldn't sleep. I hate going outside. <laughs> I fucking hate it. I hate camping so much. Oh, I hate boats. I fucking hate boats. Oh my god, do I hate boats. My, uh, my dad was so upset with me. He uh, planned this uh, boat trip. He got two boats. My brother has kids. So my brother and his kids and his girl had a boat. And my dad got a boat for uh, for my sister, me, his girlfriend, her kid, and him. And I and he goes, "All right, I've got this ha holiday planned. Are you, uh, you guys free for this?" And I said, "I'm not going." And he goes, "What?" And I said, "I'm not going." He's like, "Why?" And I'm like, "I don't like boats. I fucking hate boats. I don't like boats. They are th they're unsteady. The land is flat. It's just well, it's not flat actually. It's it's." But it, but it's like closer than water, and water is just like it's just tipping you. Up. I hate it. I don't like it at all. I don't like the feeling of being in water. So I'm like, I'm not going. And I think for about two months, my brother and my dad kept bringing it up, getting really like up salty. They're like, we go, did you seriously not come in? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I told you, I don't like boats. That you could have asked me beforehand, I would have told you I don't like boats. I'm not getting it on a boat. You shove your holiday up your ass. I'm not doing it. They got super upset. Couldn't live on a boat. Fucking hate them. They are convenient. I'm sure they're amazing. I don't like them. I don't. I like land. Keep me on land. If society ever becomes, you're living on a boat now, and that's it. All the land has sunken. I'm, I'm going down with my ship. I'm going down with the house. I'll be on the top with the sailor hat, saying, Sailor V. I'll have that song. Sail away, sail away, sail away. On, like, in the back, you know? It'd be great. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going down with the house. Captain, no! <laughs> don't like boats. I don't like them. Do I need to turn the game down any? Any? Is the game very loud? I was editing this morning and I realized some stuff is very loud when I did my PS2 stuff. I don't know. I assume no. But then the volumes are coming up pretty high. Maybe I should turn it down just so it's like oh, I'll do it just a little. I'm gonna do it just a little. I don't know how good it is, but I'd rather I'd rather it's quieter than it needs to be, and I can be heard clearly. I'm gonna do it a little more. I'm gonna do it like till 16 minus 16 decibels. Yep, that'll do. That should do it. Okay, I should be way more above the game now. Hopefully. Anyway, 
let, let me just like preface that boat thing by the way because i'm not trying to brag and be like hey look i'm rich i go on but we're not rich that was like a once in a that was like four three years ago right that was that was a while ago and i don't go on so many holidays that i can turn down boat holidays i'm not like i don't get fucking calls from my dad like every weekend like all right this is where we're going this week like that's that's not how it works right i just there was a once once in a time that that there was a boat holiday available and i said no but you know what? You should say no to things you don't want to do. And don't let fucking people try and guilt you in. Because, like, that's bullshit. If someone says no, fucking accept it. Don't be like, well, I've already... Like, fucking talk to people. Jeez. I hate it. I hate it so much. When people just fucking expect shit of you. The game's broken. Like, you can't say, like, I'm gonna do this and not ask. That's like me telling people you can shit grapes and then bring them to your doorstep and going like, hey, look, he's gonna do it. <laughs> Fucking come on, shit those grapes out. Now you've got to go down to the store real quick and slip some up there just so, <laughs> just so I'm not a liar. You wouldn't do it. Would you? That's how you gotta you gotta know how good your friends are. And I think that's the friend test. How good is your friend? How many grapes are they willing to put up? <laughs> oh my god, jeez, Jason, you're like you must really value our friendship. You put like a fucking bunch of <laughs> Maybe that isn't as funny as I thought it was, but it's because a bunch is in because like two different types of a bunch. Because yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Fucking every stream, the pineapple was a bit much though. Dude, I had pineapple the other day. I bought a pineapple from the store, cut that shit open. Mmm, delicious. Suck the juice out. Nah, I just cut it up normally, and I said to my sister, I'm like, you want some pineapple? And she was like, yeah, and I was like, shit. I didn't, I didn't expect her to say yeah. I didn't expect her to say no, but I was more leaning towards I want a whole pineapple for me. Because <laughs> I'm a greedy piece of shit. Oh, God. Have you had a look at this fool, guys? Tress? I don't know, you seem to, uh, you, you've, you've talked about playing with your friends before, like on a raft and, and all that stuff. And I played like 40 minutes, maybe. Uh, seen a bit, yeah. Alright, the game played it. Alright, fair play. It's alright. It's alright. I mean, it took the fucking internet by storm. I'm so disconnected with what people like, I think, that... Because that game came out... And then my friends like started going like, "Whoa, man!" They were they were like so excited, and I was like, "It's just wipeout." And then I heard it was 60 players, and I was like, "Oh, that sounds fucking horrible." But it's because it like knocks people out. But that game's gonna die. <laughs> that game's gonna go. It is because it needs so many people to play it that it's just not gonna. It's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. It requires too many people to play. Um, but uh, it seems meh. Mini games, yeah. No, I, I get, I get what you're saying. Everyone li like, it, like, it was like the streamers thing. It was like the streamers were like, oh my goodness, we've got to play. Uh, but I would do that for the stage of that. Maybe. I mean, it depends. Really. I mean, it, it, if as long as you could do private lobbies with your friends, I think. And instead of a dropout feature, it's just a race to the end. I think then, yeah. I think there's totally ways they could... I think once the community dies down, they need to convert it into not being so uh, online-focused. I mean, who knows? I mean, games like Rocket League and everything still have a community, but then again, that's only a four-by-four-person fight, you know? Like, that's, that's how that is. Um, 
but yeah, no, I, I mean, like, my friends list was like, uh, hey, man, people playing Fall Guys, streamers are like, oh, we're playing Fall Guys, YouTube's like, oh, we're playing Fall Guys, I get, like, Discord messages, like, hey, you guys seen Fall Guys? Maybe we should all get together and play some Fall Guys, and I'm just looking at it, like, it looks fine, <laughs> like, it looks fine, like, I don't know, I think, I'm not really sure what this, ew, I was thinking it's, like, big old beer belly, yeah. I don't know what people like anymore. Maybe I never did. Maybe maybe I never did. I don't know. I know what I like. Oh, I barely know that, actually. I barely know what I like. Jeez. This is one hard boss. Oh, I just like fist. Oh, jeez. destroyed I haven't even gotten to his like second layer of health like since I did it what like 30 minutes ago jeez yeah I don't know I can't remember the last game that came out I was really excited for um <sighs> I mean, like, maybe I expect too much now, though. I feel like my my, my expectations for games definitely have grown as, as I've gotten older. Like, I do expect more. And I think it's because, like, I have memories of, as being a kid, just being able to sit down and enjoy anything, really. Like, you'd pop a game in front of me and that's it. Like, I'd be gone. So, um, and now I'm like, I expect the same thing. I expect, like, to just... I, but I don't have the same attention span I used to. I used to be like way into just sitting down and playing some ages, and now I'm like really impatient. If I like don't do well, I'm like, well, I don't need to play this then because I'm not good. <laughs> so I just turn things off. What today's kids are like, honestly. Because they're growing up with the games that I'm now being like, eh. But surely, like, Fall Guys and and stuff like that to them is, like, the bee's knees. It's just, like, big, big multiplayer. They get to play with their friends. And if their friends aren't online, they get to play around people. And it's the same game, whether you're playing with friends or not. So there's no time to fuck about. You just gotta quickly go, go, go. Alright, I need to think about this better. I'm just hitting buttons now. Some games keep my attention. Some do. Oh, jeez. I don't think any friend of mine... I'm going back to the fruit thing. I don't think any friend of mine would stick fruit up their butt. For me, I don't think so. And do you know what? I'd be worried if a grape would pop up there. I <laughs> want the grape juice up there. Ugh. Oh, oh god. Oh, I just thought about someone trying to fucking shove a pineapple up there. Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, I didn't visualize it, and then I just did, and I like, oh, it's not. No. Fruit's too soft. What, you think you could put a cabbage up there? <laughs> Who wants salad? <laughs> it's pre-mixed. Jeez. That's disgusting. It's horrible. It's a horrible thought. I don't think I'm getting anywhere here. <laughs> oh, God.
God, what did I just hit? Oh, my headphones hit the chair. All right, okay. Let's give it like a couple more tries and then if it's uh, still not like, letting me do it, we'll uh, give the actual final boss a go. <laughs> Still. His health bar is not down. I'm just trying to get that stagger up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start dodging that last one, I think, just because... Jesus. Jo I am just curious about that final boss, though. I'm gonna skip the cutscene just because I've seen it already, like, loads of times. Like, we saw it loads. Like, when I last streamed this, like, what? <sighs> Six months ago or something, like, and we got to the boss. We saw it so many times. Bum, 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 bum. Hello. I'm here to date your daughter. <laughs> I just, just like picture like some. Someone like me, just like some overweight guy, and he's like breathing heavy outside the door. I've come to pick your daughter up for a date. No. no. I will restore Ashina to glory. I was thinking about that. I've thought about this multiple times. I couldn't be part of the jackass crew. I don't do anything... Uh, <laughs> I don't do anything cool enough to be part of jackass. Because... Um, like, all the stuff they do... I mean, back in the day, I think they were all pretty much doing... I mean, Steve-O was probably doing them, but... Like, they were all, like, pretty drugged up. So they, you know, they were just like... Stick a car in your ass, man. <laughs> you know, they were laughing. Let's go... Let's go get hit by balls. But I don't think I'd do anything. They'd be like, Ethan, what do you think you could do for Jackass 4? I... I don't know, um... I can see how much orange juice I can drink in a minute. <laughs> this is the orange juice chug! <laughs> I just really like the idea of, like, you know, Johnny Knoxville and the rest of the jackass crew, like, around me clapping, like, chug, chug, chug! And they're, like, acting like it's as cool as, like, they've just done, like, flips and weird like jackass shit and I'm like <laughs> they're getting so excited about me drinking orange juice definitely were, I mean... Who would want to do half of the shit they did? Without being out of it, you know? I used to be able to get this done pretty easily, actually. I used to be able to get this phase done. 
spoilers. Uh, you should be able to get this face done pretty well. Ah, oh, jeez. This definitely feels more doable than the big, the big fire <laughs> demon. Like there, I don't, I don't know, like it just, it was really kicking my ass. This dude, he's got like, uh, he's got like some moves and stuff, but he's my size. I think, I honestly, I really do like, I think like, enemies because a lot of people like want to see these like big stage fights where it is against some kind of big creature some big armored dude some big kind of like thing that's just it's just way bigger than you the scale is massive and then it hits you and it does like a quarter of a bar and you're like oh okay then that's fine like it just squished me under its big toe but like it did a quarter of a bar I really like fights that are like, this dude is my size and he's kicking my ass, you know, I think like it's pretty sweet. Oh shit, I got like sweaty hands. My hands. The controller's gonna slip right out like a slip and slide. Keep playing around. Keep playing around with the idea of uh, schedules. I don't know if I. I don't know. I don't know, man. One day, I might get a schedule one day, like seven years from now. I will restore Ashina to glory. Do you think Twitch now have an inbuilt sort of? edge as well like you can set it up so people can come over to your channel and be like oh geez well here's the, the schedule and it's like seven hours of hollow night <laughs> this is fun no, no, it is, it is. I wonder what the next big game is going to be. I mean, for now, it's Fall Guys. I think that is, like, the game. For now, like, that's the game. Um, Like, we're going to see, like, tips and tricks coming out. You know, like, oh, here's my tips and tricks videos for Fall Guy. Make sure that your dad doesn't watch this video with you. You don't want your dad beating you on Fall Guy. Dude, that's what I want to see. Is I want to see more gaming shows of people playing against their dads and their dads winning. Grounded is pretty popular, is it? I saw that. My brother's playing that, I think, on his uh, YouTube channel. There you go. But, um... No, 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 no! No, no, please, don't, don't do this! Oh, shit. Um, yeah, it looks all right. Is that what the genre is now? Is genre like is survival still, is that still what like is popular? Survival, craft survival, is it a craft survival game? I don't know what it is. I wonder if we're actually going to get out of that. When's FPS coming back? When are we going to have, like, another, like, Xbox 360 era where just everything is in, in a third or first person shooter? And it's just, you can't escape it. There's too many. I remember, like, the upcoming weeks to Minecraft coming on Xbox 360. The hottest shit was, like, indie games that are basically just Minecraft. It's like, oh, it's Minecraft, but it's not Minecraft, so, like, we can't call it that, but... You know, like Castle Miner Z, which great games. It's just Minecraft with guns, and it's very dark. Uh, it's a very moody game. Are 
used to be able to do this like so like uniform i would come in and just kick his ass and now i'm like struggling jeez it's not good it's not good at all when are dating sims gonna be like the top game when is twitch just gonna be like the number one, the number one game right now is uh is Daily Sim version 5.2. And everyone's like, oh my god, version 7.5 is coming out tomorrow, guys. Everyone get, everyone get like, so hype. Hype in chat. Like, and it's, like, not even a joke. Everyone is legitimately just loving this, like, cutesy, uh, <laughs> like, dating sim game. Thing is just everything has its community and then sometimes it just blow up. I mean like who would have known Animal Crossing would be uh, a good horror game to be nice. Yeah maybe. I mean Outlast was the thing for a while. I like horror games. spooky experience that you get to feel and sometimes it's done right and it's great when it is and it's just horrible when it's not. Like when they give you an SMG and you just walk around mowing down everything and it's like, this is a horror game. No, it's not. It's fuck. It's 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 a Call of Duty horror dream. Like it's just a fever dream, some I shit. You know, like come on. I think horror is at its best when the player feels weak, where every confrontation just feels like, oh gee, I just don't want to do it. When you when you're scared of turning corners because you don't know what's around that corner yet, and it could just you could you any second just shit your pants. I think that's when horror is the strongest. When it when, and I think also horror is way better when instead of having a an enemy, it's just someone that's it's just an unknown entity. It's just some like an idea. You know, like Cthulhu or something. It's like, you don't know. There's no guarantee that you, will, that you will ever encounter anything. But the atmosphere is just, like, it's just daunting. I don't know. That's me, though. I would love, I would love a horror game that's just, it's just so, it's just so much about atmosphere. It's not about enemies or or jump scares or, or just any kind of like that. It's just like dark rooms, minimal resources, just some. I, I don't know. I think Amnesia did pretty well, even though that does have enemies. Um, I wouldn't say Amnesia's the bee's knees, but I, I think it did. It it had a place, and it it's like. It was like it was like seventy percent the way there of being like a really good horror game. It was fine, but it was I mean It had places it probably could have done a little bit better. Because the issue with horror games that have enemies is once you realize dying isn't even that bad, getting caught isn't even that bad, it it doesn't matter anymore. All of the all of your scared like, oh, don't, don't catch me, it's gone, because you're just like, well, fuck it, I'll just respawn around the corner, I don't give a shit. Like, it, and it, there has to be some kind of penalty, which is also an incentive of being like, don't fuck up. Just spouting nonsense, aren't I? I think the next game should be, it should be like about these kids that are squids and they play paintball. I think that should be the next big game, but I, I mean, it's not been made yet, I don't think. I don't think there's any squid kid paintball game out there. And, um, I mean, even if there was, like, who would even know if anyone would even know about it? It's not like any, like, first party sort of company would, would pick it up or anything. So, 
you tried Octopus Dad? <laughs> yeah, uh, I did actually. I think I did a little while. I haven't played much of it either, really. Most of those like wacky games where it's like, whoa, look at this wacky experience. Like it just wears off on me so quick. Like, like I never really got into Goat Sim. It never felt more than a gimmick. It never really felt like it was going anywhere. Which for some people like that's like treason. Treason. He's talking shit about the goat simulator. Like it's just heresy. You know, but uh, I don't know. I, I didn't really get too far in Octo Octo Dad though. I wish there was some kind of surgery game where it's kind of like Operation, but. Instead, you was, like, doing surgery, and maybe, like, they could, like, do weird levels, like, maybe you're in the back of an ambulance and you have to do surgery, so all the things are sort of flying around, or, like, in space or something, that'd be pretty sweet. I, will restore um, us to glory. I don't think these games exist, though. I mean, if anyone wants to take these ideas, you know, make a game out of them, I mean, go for it, you know? What if someone did take these ideas? What if someone took these ideas? They made Splatoon. <laughs> Without realizing Splatoon was a thing, they just thought my idea was amazing. And they, <laughs> and they also made like Surgeon Simulator. <laughs> and they don't know that's a thing either. They're just like, oh, it was a joke the whole time. They, they, it, they already existed, but I made them. They just get sued. Nintendo's like coming down with the iron fist. I'd hate to get into legal trouble with, with Nintendo, because you know they can afford to do it. They can afford it. It's Nintendo. Yeah, no, that's strange. I think one of the fun things is, like, I saw um, a tweet the other day. Uh, where it was like this, it was this uh, person on Twitter saying, like, uh, she, she was talking about um, how... She, she said to someone before Animal Crossing was going to be a console seller, and they like they laughed at her or something. I can't remember. And then obviously, you know, just just after Animal Crossing came out, everyone got locked in, and it was just kind of a nice like escape game. So it sold really well. She was saying like, "Oh, I wish I had the stats." for that person so I could rub it in their face and it's like do, does she not know the reason because I am certain Animal Crossing would have sold well but nowhere fucking close to how well it did considering you know what, what went down It, it did just seem to arrive just like just at the right time <laughs> not that it's a conspiracy like I don't think so but like it did poor Animal Crossing it sold more consoles supposedly than uh or m more copies I can't remember it's over more consoles or more copies than uh Smash Brothers did I so uh hey Congrats, Animal Crossing's team. You made a game a lot of people enjoyed. I personally didn't play it. Nothing against it, I just didn't. I know Grimgram played it and pre-ordered it, I think. He was there day one, he loved it. This isn't even the hard part of the battle. <laughs> this isn't even the hard part. And I'm like, oh, I can't do it. This is what happens when you take six months away from like a very, very, 
uh, precise game. All right, I'm gonna go silent for this next one, and it's just so I can concentrate. Okay, and then I'm gonna start start the talking up again. I will restore Ashina to glory. That went so much better. That went so better. Oh my god. Who would have thought concentrating would be that impactful? Who would have thought? Oh my goodness. That was like really, really. I'm going to just like 100% pay attention to the game. Uh, I'm going to still talk. Like random I shit when I can. Um, but for the most part, I really do need to just buckle down and get um, better. The annoying thing is, like, people that are good at this game are gonna just be like, oh, it's so easy. I've seen other people be like, oh, it's so easy. And it's like, well, yeah, you beat it. Like, of course it's easy. But you've done it already. Like, it's not like you're sitting here on the gamer seat. People really don't understand the pressure of uh, doing it for an audience either. Which, it's not like, oh, I need to do it. Otherwise, people are going to be disappointed. Because if they're disappointed, then they're disappointed. That's their fault for getting their hopes up. But. But it is like, it does feel kind of strange when you're just like, perform, 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 you're just telling it yourself, like it's, you don't want to look bad for other people, you, um, you know? It's like when someone comes around your house and you like, see your room <laughs> in with new eyes and you're like, 
Oh, shit. I can't let them see this. Like, it's just your usual living arrangements, but you're like, I, this is disgusting. You're just disgusted with every decision you've made in the past five years. You go out, you buy new curtains, you buy new milk. You don't want them thinking you're using weird, like, off milk. You gotta get new milk in. Um, <laughs> just because you don't want them thinking, you don't want them thinking anything weird about you, right? You're not the guy that drinks chunky sour milk. And if you are, they're not gonna fucking know. Just so you know, I'm not the guy that drinks chunky sour milk. Uh, that's not me. That's my bro. That's my brother. That's why that's in the fridge. What my brother doesn't live with me? Yeah, I, he just keeps it here. It's so disrespectful because we don't want chunky sour milk in the fridge. It's him. He wants it here. I've told him about it. I've said, get your fucking milk out our fridge. But he won't. He won't listen. That's the worst. When you fucking have chunky sour milk, it's the fucking worst. Because you, you make something with it, and you don't know until you see it coming out, or you, you, you drink it or something, and you just think, like, oh, for fuck's sake, it's chunky. It's chunky fucking milk. And it just sucks. It's the worst. It, it's horrible. If you ever make tea with it, I don't like tea, but if you ever do make tea with it, you can see it in the bottle, you can see it in the cup, like, just floating there, just fucking looking at you like, yeah, you fucked up, didn't you? You know you did, but you don't want to admit it, like, you're milk, don't, shut the fuck up, you don't know shit about me. You don't know the hardships I go through, you fucking milk. You just came right out of the tea, you don't fucking know me. Nathan, what was that milk tangent? Do you ever, like, say something while you're playing a game and you start doing better and you're like, oh, I need to keep talking about that right now. I need to keep fucking talking about that thing. Otherwise, I'm going to get worse at the game and you just go on about a tangent about milk. Most people don't talk while they game. When I was a kid, I would I would do it every once in a while. I'd talk while I was gaming. I wouldn't, but I wouldn't talk like to people or to myself. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good." So this is the temple, and we're at it now. Like I wouldn't do that. I'd just be like, "Uh huh, yeah." Oh, quick, get over to the thing. Oh, and so when I saw YouTube, I was like, "I talk while I game. <laughs> I must be good for this. I must be good at it." And um, and then I recorded myself, and you, you don't talk naturally very well. It is a, it is not a skill, but it is something you sort of have to pick up if you ever do do uh, do do. <laughs> if you ever do um, YouTube or Twitch or just some kind of any like streaming, I guess something like that. It's not a natural thing for you to just constantly be yapping your fucking head off. Sorry, I went silent. I'm really focused. Jeez. 
Jeez, jeez. Come, Sekiro! want to get to the second stage if i can get to the third stage that'd be pretty sweet as well actually because um i haven't done it i haven't done it i've never done the third stage i've gone to the second stage well i guess the third stage i have i've never gone to the fourth stage because this would be the first stage eat my juice second Drink the milk of life. Curdle it. Can you gurgle curdled milk? Can you gurgle milk? You can gurgle any liquid, right? Does anyone dress their hamster up? Someone must. Is that the animal you dress up? I'm gonna dress up my animals. Oh yeah, which one first? The hamster. Yeah? Yep. Can't wait to make a tiny fireman outfit for the hamster. It's gonna look fucking hot. <laughs> Restore Ashida to glory. Never take me alive. Never take me alive. <laughs> It is just like... Bad experience. Oh, yes. Yes. Are the cinemas open yet? Are they open yet? I don't think they are, are they? When are the films going to be like out again? When are like films going to be like... When am I going to be able to buy a film again? And I know what you're thinking, you, you could buy films. I mean the new ones. I want to watch A Quiet Place Part 2. And I want to watch Black Widow. And I want to watch the new Wonder Woman. And any other film that might be good. Wanna watch me fucking die? That's a new film by me. It's seven minutes of me fucking dying. The director's cut has five hours. You can watch that on YouTube right now. I want someone to make a compilation of me every time I die to It's a Hard Knock Life. It's a hard knock life. For <laughs> Every time I die, song restarts. It's terrible.
If copyright wasn't a thing, music would be so cool. For streams. But then also, like, a lot of people wouldn't be protected or paid, so it kind of sucks in that regard. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to start um, a tweet trending, and it's going to be, I'll do anything in the bedroom, but... And then that's going to be the tweet, and people put what they won't do in the bedroom, you know? I'll do anything in the bedroom, but eat toast. No crumbs in my bed. <laughs> Has hashtag clean sheets. Like, what? They're all, like, really nice, clean tweets. And, like, one dude's getting really mad online. He's like, why is... This is clearly meant to be a, a sex joke tweet. And everyone's just not putting anything sexual. And he gets really... He he's not in on the joke at all. You're meant to be like, I'll do anything in the bedroom. But, I, I, like, something sexy. Like, jeez. Come on, people. Stop saying you're not going to eat toast and... Cut your toenails and fucking do your makeup because you've got a mirror in the bathroom and go to the toilet. I'd, I'd stop it. I'll do anything in my room except and there's a Google Doc link which says like everything possible in it. Just like everything. Breathe. Exist. Jeez. <sighs> I will restore Ashina to glory. I have never, I don't think I've ever, well maybe I have, I, I don't know, not to my knowledge, like, um, not to my current knowledge. Like, when those things are going around on Twitter, or like, something's, something's trending and everyone's like, jumping on this bandwagon and talking about how, like, whatever, like, I never ever, like, really tweet popular trending stuff. I never do it. So, like, when people, like, fucking do those tweets, like, fruit of the day, what's your favorite fruit today, you know, like, or what, ooh, what's the perfect thing for a summer's afternoon, I'd never fucking tweet it out, I never tweet shit, I never go, like, hashtag fucking fruit of the day, veg of the year, you know, I don't give a shit. Because who's tweeting through that? It's gonna like look at yours and go like, oh fuck, man, that's that's an interesting take. I gotta get them on a Skype call real quick. Are you are you Football Dad seventy five on Twitter? Oh yep, I'm Football Dad seventy five on Twitter. Hi, how can I help you? I just wanna I talk to you about your tweet of the day, um, about uh, your favorite fruit today. Like you said, uh, pomegranate. Yeah, I, yeah, I did. I really, I've been really enjoying pomegranate recently. It's just, uh, it's just delicious. Well, I just, I've never seen anyone. That was a really unique reply to that tweet. I was just thinking, how do you come up with this? Well, you know, the other day I was with my dad. He was out uh, watching the footy. Um, you know, he was coming back in his van from footy. And we stop off at this, like, farmer's market. It's just open. It's just open, right? And, uh... The, well, the farmer, he was selling fresh pomegranate. I said, Dad, you, how many pomegranates are you eating in your life? He goes, not that many, son. Not that many. And I go, maybe we should just get some. Try it out. I don't even know if I've ever, ever eaten a pomegranate, really. I've eaten pomegranate-flavored sort of yogurt and stuff, but I've never had, uh... I've never really had a pomegranate myself. Maybe so we should stop and get one. And me and my dad, we stop and we get one. And, uh, you know... It's delicious. Really enjoyed it. So yeah, that was why that was my tweet of the day. I really, I really have been enjoying pomegranate recently. You know, ever since then, I've been, I've been really sort of going, you know, really hard on pomegranate. It's delicious. I, I've been adding it to a lot of meals, a lot of curries. We've had a pomegranate curry. Uh, it's delicious. The other night, wife uh, Susan, she, uh, 
she really wanted to say, you know, how delicious it really was. She, I mean, and she, I haven't cooked in years. She was really appreciated that we didn't just get fucking takeout like we usually do, because you know that's all we don't we don't know how to cook, so we just eat takeout because we think that's a good way to live and raise our kids. All right, thanks for both and seventy five. That was really good. That was a really good. Uh, really good, uh, really good uh, chat we had. Thanks for, you uh, know, thanks for the time. Like, no one fucking cares what your fruit of the day is. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> that's, that's pretty much my, uh, end, end point. Why, I, I don't know. I think Twitter is just, it's, it's like anything, like YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, fucking, to mixer, uh, any of these, like, it's just like playing into someone's ego, you know, someone has this ego, someone has this, like, idea that they're, like, everything they say is worth listening to, and it's not, no one's, no one is worth listening to, except scientists, that s speak facts, <laughs> I will restore it's, it's all like a distraction, glory. right, but, um, it's just like everyone nowadays, they just want to fucking, they just want to produce and produce and produce as much like crap as they can, talk about as much shit as they can, and this, and Twitter is giving them a way to do that. One thing that's really upsetting me is since I've now spent my resurrection, like that's it, my resurrection so I don't have a way to get resurrections back quickly. Like, how can I quickly get resurrections back? Can I, can I have a fucking, can I see, can I, is there a way? I'm just seeing if there's a quick way to get them back because it would really help me join these fights. I'm just like going in now. That's it. Like I'm just in. We're just like in a point now where it's just like, hey, go, go, fucking do it. And uh, I'm gonna be uh, a little silent for a little while. I think, like, I mean, honestly, like, I want to get this game done. I started it on stream. Let's see if we can do it. I will restore Ashina to glory. What did I name this stream? Smashing my toes against what? That's what it's called. It's like smashing my toes because I, I did a Dark Souls stream before called smashing my head against a brick wall. Um, so I did a quote. I quoted myself. Oh, man. I'm going to start playing... Um, we're gonna start playing all the popular things on Twitch. I think that's really what people want to see me play. So uh, next week, expect seven hours of Fortnite, uh, followed by two hours of whatever the fuck else is popular. I'm gonna play like four hours of Roblox. I think people will love that. 
so make sure to okay, check as these people. Uh, if you want to see like Fortnite and robots skins, um, I've been working real hard on them. I've been getting all of the collectibles, like Fortnite guy one. I don't think I'll ever play Fortnite on this channel. Um, it's just because I don't, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy Fortnite. I don't. And I'll tell people my main issue with it, right? It's the building. The building sucks. I fucking hate it. The whole reason that game is, like, uh, different from PUBG and, and some other stuff is the building. And I think it's the fucking worst part of that game. And I don't care for it. And I've played maybe two or three games. I never really played a lot, right? I, I dropped it really quickly. There's just better battle royale. Right, they're, they're just art. Like, Warzone is a fantastic war battle royale. If you really want it. If you really want, like, a fun royale, Warzone's great. I and mean, you can disagree with me if you wish, but it is. I'm not saying it's the best game ever, I'm saying it's a good royale because it's that Call of Duty gameplay that everyone just knows because everyone played Call of Duty. If you didn't, then I'd, I don't know what the fuck you're doing in 2015. Well, you're doing the same shit as me, I'll tell you that now. Because I was Call of Duty boy. The zombie, the zombies is the main part that I was doing. Because the, the fucking zombies is the bee's knees. And if you don't like the zombies, that's already, like, I'm going to disagree with you a bit. They should already just make a standalone zombies game. Like, I don't know why they haven't. It's the same shit everyone's been saying for fucking years. Just make it a standalone zombies experience. Like, fuck it, we'll buy it. And they're like, nah, we'd rather make you pay for the whole fucking package, even though you don't want the single player and you don't want the multiplayer. You just want to you know, fucking want it. And they're like, oh, we'll just make you buy it. And every time they fucking redo zombies, they fuck it up as well. Like with World War Two, it was just shitty. It was just a shitty zombies. And uh, it wasn't shitty. It just wasn't good. It just wasn't as good. I will restore they really, like, with, what was it, Black Ops 1, that was like, that was it. Like, Black Ops 1... Black Ops 3, I can't say much about Black Ops 2 because I didn't replay it. Uh, and World at War, like, the zombies were just phenomenal. They were just great experiences. And they were like, nah. Yes, that's it. Gamer mode. <laughs> oh fuck, man! I'm not wearing the earphones for a while. I'm gonna take them off. It's getting so loud in there. It's getting so heated. I just want chill gamer experience. My gamer experience. What's the top sandwich? Do you think? happened oh i thought the pc crashed fuck me it's getting hot in here it honestly is like this game is like i mean i'm running pretty high settings plus 4k but hopefully you can't hear the controller tapping away the, the pit button. It's not heard, but it might be happening. Oh, for fuck's sake. Holy shit. Oh, 
Remember that? Old Eminem. Remember old Eminem? I liked old Eminem. I don't know what Eminem's done. I kind of stopped listening since Not Afraid, right? And I'm not going to say, like, he's bad, because he's obviously he's done very well for himself, and I'm not going to be a hater. I just stopped listening. And I didn't listen religiously anyway in the first place, so I don't want to start no beef with, 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 with uh, Mr. Marshall, with Mr. Matters. Uh, I don't want to start no beef with well, I mean, it's Really, it'd benefit me more than him. But, um... But... <laughs> yeah, I stopped listening around about then. Um, I... Because I just didn't care anymore. I think some and and I can't really comment on this new or, or or stuff later than when he was sort of going a Slim Shady because Slim Shady is when I was listening, you know. That's when uh, he was the real Slim Shady and he needed to stand up and uh, people, you know, wouldn't have known what to do without him or, or oh, sort of toy soldiers. I mean, did he did stand with Dido and and really that is such like an emotional song about like a band that he, he you know he couldn't save and, and they were going a little crazy waiting on letters and stuff I mean it's I mean there's obviously it's, it's probably got deeper meanings to it I don't really read into songs I'm not I mean anyone who's known me for like five minutes should know like I'm not the brightest peanut in the third but but um I don't know he like he had like a, a song um Singing about his daughter, that was quite emotional. Um, I think it was when I'm, I think it was called "When I'm Gone," and I just really like that sort of soft, caring kind of character more than angry man, <laughs> which I think is kind of what he went, you know, to. Um, I don't know. I will restore Ashina to glory. I can't comment too much on like rap or hip hop music because I didn't like grow up with it. I didn't. I, I don't listen to it. I got nothing against it. I just don't. Like it, my brother listens to that stuff. Like I don't really listen to that stuff. Uh, I listen to like the same four albums over and over. Like I've listened. I got my like Paramore albums. You know, like that's the like, that's. But that's the only kind of like band I'm like I get really excited about. I mean I know Joji is releasing a new thing in September, and I'm gonna buy that because I, I do like Joji. And I like Joji before people were calling Joji. Okay, and I, and, 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 you know, I liked Frank. Okay, I liked Frank. Dude's done well, so uh, get himself away from that. I never really watched the Frank videos, but I did. What? listen to some of the music he put out and it's just like uh it's just like naughty it's naughty and that's what i like i like naughty because <laughs> uh it's good I will restore Ashina to glory. I think there is something with humans where... The tiny humans, but I, I think there's something with some people where there is something that's just like... Oh, they said something you're not supposed to say! And it just sort of like hits something in the back of your brain. Like, oh, ha, ha, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, maybe it's just me, I'm a child or some sort, but... Uh, I like people that push the envelope. Not people that like say shit that is absolutely fucking wrong and just horrible and and said to be mean and and, and just not just just so they don't comply, you know. I mean like I think there's stuff that is like generally like oh, and it's like, well you you can say that, but some people won't agree, and then there's shit where it's like don't fucking say that. Um 
I think comedy for me is the one that's always strange. I mean, like, I don't know. People, people take comedy too seriously. Like, it's a joke. Like, the whole point of comedy is to sort of push up to a line and be like, okay, well... <laughs> it's strange, because... We're in a place where... Comedians used to just be these people that would, would make jokes. They would make these two-second jokes. It'd be... Da -da 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 -da. That's, that's the joke, and the next joke, you know? his story and it would, it would just get up to a point and a punchline and <laughs> this is this is how I feel and uh, you know <laughs> here's a joke blah 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 back to how I feel for like five minutes and I'm gonna make a point and it's just strange because comedy's now turned into this idea of how to get a how to get a room onto your side and and how to it, it it's way more into the idea of I, I want to listen to what this comedian says because I agree with this comedian and not because I want to laugh with the or um, and sometimes I don't, like you got to take it how you want to take it because just because someone is saying stuff and using that tone because people use that tone, don't they? They go, well, but this is how it is. And, and it's unfortunate that this is how it is, but this is how it is. And no, 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 no. You know, that's like the tone they use. And, and you've got to fucking, you got to look past that tone. You do. you got to look past it and be like, okay, well, like, no, you're just, you're just fucking wrong. And like, like stop, stop trying to be like, it's okay to do this. Like, no, it's not. Stop using that tone. The other shit you said was good. Jeez. I don't know. I'm running out of fun and stuff. That is a legitimate worry for me. It's the one day I will run out of things to say. Like, I'm not like a, a fan of wisdom crazy person that's like, I'm gonna say what I want on the internet. Rawr, rawr, you know, it's, that's like me. But like, I do feel like if I ever run out of shit, dang. That, what a good run. <laughs> Death once again. I will come back. I'm gonna get my fucking dad to play this for me. I'm gonna have my dad beat the second one for me. It's too hard. It's just 
learning. It's just learning. Gosh. You don't want to be smart. I do. I want to be smart. I want to be like someone that says something and then people look and go like, oh yeah, that's true. You know? Because uh, the way I talk is pretty much like, I'll say like, this is how things are. And then it's up to I people whether they go like, uh-huh. I just want to be right. You know? That's pretty much it. I don't think anyone likes being wrong, but... I just want to be, like, always right. I want to be right so much that people get annoyed at me. They're like, why can't you ever be wrong? And I'm like, because I just never am. It's not like I am wrong and I just think I'm right. Like, I just want to be just right. Like, always. And, it, and that, that would be amazing. That'd be fantastic. People would want you dead. Absolutely. People would be like, fuck this piece of shit. But you'd be like the Wizard of Oz. You just have answers. People would, like, come to see you. What should I have for dinner tonight? You would enjoy steak. <laughs> Really? I'm not, I don't feel like I'm in the mood and they come back the next day like, fuck me, that was the perfect meal. I don't know why. I was not in the mood at all, but then like, geez, like I would really enjoyed that shit. annoying thing about just losing constantly is like I've been doing this for like an hour and a half now. <laughs> no, I think I've been doing this for an hour. I'm going to start doing dinner time streams, right? I'm going to find out the average time people have dinner. And I'm going to stream for 20 minutes while people eat their dinner. And then I'm going to stop and never, like, and not stream again until the next day's dinner time. And that's that's going to be my stream schedule from now on. I'm not going to ever play games properly. I'm going to start a new game every single day, and I'm just going to, like, be like, Oh, you're having pie and chips tonight. All right, Brian. Well, this one's dedicated to you. Today we're playing fucking Honey Pop 5. Oh, jeez. I think I might play something else, or... I don't know. I don't know what else I would want to play, though. Like, I'm just getting to the point now of, like, this is... I was really hoping I would just get on today and I'd be like, fucking done it. Done. But it's like, and it's just getting like longer and longer. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. I will restore Ashina to glory. I need to figure out what I'm going to play for, uh, what I'm going to play next, if I play something next week. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see.
I've, I've like, I have enjoyed this, but it's just fucking hard. So I'm gonna uh, go fucking lie down or something. Think about dinner. Uh, thanks everyone for coming along. Uh, people coming and chatting in with me, you know, and all that. Appreciate it. Literally, why the streams are here. And I'll uh, see you all uh, hopefully in the future. <laughs>